Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX, the only channel that will give you hands-on trade ideas for the upcoming week and of course a top-down analysis to give you a look at the bigger picture. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe, yeah? See you there. So welcome back guys, we start with the Dixie as usual and we are on the weekly time frame. As you see, last week we had a nice strong bullish candle after testing the 200 weekly moving average. So um, this candle uh, showing us that the bulls still defending this area and uh, there is a potential of continuation at least short term to the upside. If we look at the daily, we see that the level was a good uh, support and resistance level that we've been uh, looking at on our charts since this high was made here. We uh, start looking at the channel and as you see uh, at this line, sorry, and as you see, it was a good flip zone of support and resistance. Just below that, we had the 200 moving average on the daily also. Um, that we could use as possible dynamic support. Um, so the market start pushing higher at this level and uh, breaking previous highs as you see. Uh, last Friday also we broke above this uh, important level of um, support and resistance as well. So uh, first thing we was looking to see if the market gonna retest this area and give us a rejection. That didn't happen. We now broke and uh, holding the level above the uh, 9610 here so <clears throat> this is showing potential uh, continuation and uh, what we should be looking for next week is uh, how the market will, re will react at this level if we're gonna have any retest so first off uh, my first uh, plan here is to look for a correction on the uh, dollar look uh, if we're gonna retest this area for a possible bounce and continuation to the upside now do not forget that we do have the 200 moving average on the four hour that been acting as good support uh, dynamic support and resistance in the past so this may give us some trouble and uh, <clears throat> we may get some reaction on that but if this also got broken the moving average then there is a good potential to reach uh, higher toward the 97 area once again um, for the downside, we want to see a break below uh, this previous low, a break uh, below the trend line and this previous low, a break just below the trend line is not enough here. We want to see a break below previous, um, previous low here as we have uh, at this area and then if that happened then there is a possibility for a uh, move to the downside. So keep an eye on those two levels. Yeah. Uh, oil, uh, sorry, gold. Um, we start um, soon to see uh, more and more um, weakness. As you see, on the weekly time frame, once again, uh, we are not making new high. We are making lower highs uh, here at the uh, 618 Fibonacci retracement of this whole move and this previous uh, uh, supply level. So, um, weakness showing up right now. Uh, RSI was on the extreme overbought and start dipping a little bit lower and on the daily we've been inside this range for a while and I've been saying wait for the breakout uh, of this range to the downside or to the upside preferably downside because to the upside we have this uh, resistance level uh, very close to that range so um, what I mentioned in my last week overview was to look for this possible correction to the downside for uh, then a uh, continuation. So this is maybe happening now, but we still want to see a break below the range. We, we want to see this range broken. And if that happens, then there is a possibility for that deeper correction. Yeah, before the break, we may got, uh, get a possible bounce from these lows here. Uh, from these lows a bounce back up could happen maybe to retest this um, broken neckline here and uh, if we got any bearish evidence at that area then there is a possibility for that anticipation for the break to happen yeah uh, in any case as far as this <laughs> this range is holding we may continue inside that 
oil uh, we've been uh, bullish since we reached uh, this level down here we've got this morning star formation and start pushing higher we still have um, some more room to reach uh, the yearly pivot point level where we also had the previous resistance here so the 55 is the first level of trouble to the upside yeah as you see this was a very extended move and it needs some at least some correction to the upside which is uh, happening right now so during this whole move to the downside i've been saying bearish 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 but now we have a clear reversal but the 55 gonna be a uh, major level where we have previous high and um, a structure of resistance that been uh, tested in the past as a good resistance level so um, keep an eye on that um, as you see the level we've mentioned the 55 is up here yeah so um, we may get some correction from that level but if we break then we open the door for more upside yeah there is uh, potential more to this especially that we've got this little dip here a correction and uh, the continuation is possible but if we break and hold above yearly pivot point um, as possible levels of support i still see uh, the area down here the uh, 51 uh, area down here as a possible support level for another uh, bounce if that retest happens uh, next week on the uh, four hour time frame it looks uh, something like this we're still uh, trading off uh, this nice uh, support level that been tested many times and as you see here also we tested it uh, yet again and we got another push higher so this area is a very important level to look at uh, euro usd what's going on on the weekly time frame if we take a look here we've been talking about this 200 moving average for a while now uh, it's been holding as nice uh, support um, the week before we tested this uh, important area to then uh, got re rejection and last week we've got um, a strong uh, continuation to the downside yeah so um, we have still uh, inside this uh, range or a correction move as you see uh, we've been doing this for a while um, a strong leg to the downside uh, sideways another strong leg and sideways so the le the levels we are watching is uh, of course uh, down here around the monthly s1 this is a pretty important support level that may give you some um, bounce to the upside but if broken which is uh, the main idea here to see if it, we're gonna get a break below that and continuation okay but do not forget this been defended in the past and uh, we could have another bounce higher to keep consolidating in this uh, lower range we've done that for a while now and uh, there is a possibility that we we just uh, continue inside this uh, consolidation yeah so um, monthly s1 very important monthly r1 is also very important uh, in the middle here as you see it gets very choppy and there is no reason to get stuck in that so trade off uh, the edges uh, that is uh, the best way to do business so on the four hour time frame you see that we are pretty uh, clear here there is not much uh, to hold as support and we should be looking for a possible continuation now after a break below monthly pivot point uh, below the 200 moving uh, moving average on the four hour broke below the range so that's why i'm watching this level uh, down the next level is of course down here at these lows and then we have the last line of defense uh, all the way down here sterling usd pretty nice uh, push higher um, after the, the the flash crash we had here and uh, after those uh, confidence void vote uh, the brexit vote and all that we kept pushing higher but on friday we've got um, a pretty nice uh, bearish engulfing candle here uh, when we tested deeply inside above these highs yeah so what i'm watching for uh, the brick uh, the brexit <laughs> for for the sterling is um, a retest toward this level down here that could be a possible level uh, that will give us um, some support and uh, probably a bounce to the upside um, 
on the four hour uh, you see it like this yeah uh, we start having the 200 moving average uh, start to pointing to the upside and um, this area here is a pretty nice support and resistance level that we should be uh, keeping an eye at so as far as uh, we still have um, this level um, as a support there is a possibility for a continuation from this area in my opinion <clears throat> USD Jappy last week we've been talking about the 108 as a good support level and that to forget about the wick and use uh, these levels once again as our possible uh, support area and as I said a retest down here could give us a continuation to the upside if it holds so on the daily time frame it looks like this we've got we had this and I said look for a retest and a possible continuation we've got that pretty nicely the market still did not reach the the objective which is at the 110 uh, to, to reach this uh, important level at least uh, in my opinion and um, maybe after that to look for a possible bounce down and another push higher so 110 possible resistance a buy level is around the 109 back to retest this neckline in my opinion this is the level of um, interest here to try and buy at this level uh, at least back to 110 but if that broken then there is more uh, to the upside toward monthly pivot point and the 200 moving average so um, pretty interesting level to keep an eye at on the four hour time frame you see it more clearly we have the support down here and the 110 area up here as a possible uh, resistance based on what happened here previously at this level um, USD CAD <coughs> still in a correction uh, move after this very strong push to the downside we are now inside a uh, correction channel I still think uh, the best would be if we reach this level to try to short from this area but <clears throat> since we have this uh, little channel ongoing right now one could uh, play that until we have a breakout um, of it uh, still uh, this uh, down here the uh, level down here is a interesting uh, support and resistance level coming from the daily time frame so if we look at uh, if we look at the daily you see why this level is important here uh, we can crunch this chart more we are coming from these levels here it's been tested many times as uh, support and resistance so pretty important level and as as i said in the previously uh, weekly overviews if this got broken then we have a big chance to reach the 200 moving average on the daily and the bottom of this channel that is for a longer term um, view but um, once again for next week keep following uh, <coughs> this uh, channel uh, and look for possible uh, break if this um, ongoing flag right now we have uh, this is the pole of it this is the flag and if we get a break out of it a strong break out of it then there is a possibility for a continuation to the bottom of the channel Aussie USD what we're looking for here is uh, let's go to the weekly so we've got this very strong bounce to the upside after the, the uh, flash crash and uh, we uh, back toward this uh, support and resistance level coming from a previously old one so <clears throat> back here we ended up last week um, with a inside bar but on the daily we see that we uh, after this very strong push up here start losing momentum the candles start getting smaller and start reversing to the downside now before we can call it uh, a clear reversal and not um, just a possible because this could be also something like this a possible flag that could break to the upside and continue higher uh, <clears throat> but since on the daily and the weekly we were on the overbought territorium here I'm looking for a possible um, at least short term reversal here so what I'm watching first is uh, if we're gonna uh, break below this neckline and if that happened then we have this possible scenario to test these lows down here and if broken to start looking 
of a retest of this uh, neckline down here yeah so uh, this is uh, the uh, scenario on this one USD chief very very strong um, we look at the weekly we see that um, after this um, very strong rejection at the monthly S1 and the 618 of this whole move we've got a very strong push to the upside and last week was the continuation yeah so the bulls been in control uh, these two weeks and uh, i'm looking for possible continuation here the question is um, are we going are we going to have a uh, some kind of correction or retest and uh, that what i'm looking for after this extended move to the upside here you see that the rsi is at the extreme of a bot here uh, as you see so uh, what i'm looking for is uh, if we're gonna get a retest back down toward the 200 moving average and this uh, structure support and resistance area if that happened then i'm looking for a possible buy from this level and a continuation toward um, these highs up here uh, new zealand usd also let's take a look on the weekly and uh, as you see uh, the weekly time frame um, showing here a um, pretty nice strong bearish candle um, which um, confirmed that we failed to continue and uh, start looking for new highs at this uh, important yearly pivot point and uh, support and resistance level yeah so um, <clears throat> this could be a possible uh, continuation lower here uh, we had a break below the neckline and now we have a lower high we are back below the 200 moving average on the daily and i'm looking for at least a continuation back down toward the trend line and this uh, neckline once again yeah around this area to look for a possible bounce at least a short-term bounce from this level uh, if we go down to the four hour we see it more clearly that last week we uh, <clears throat> did a retest here to the monthly pivot point could not break higher and then another attempt that gave us another uh, bit lower high and a bearish engulfing candle so this is setting up for uh, continuation if you're holding a short keep an eye on this low if that broken then we uh, still have a, a big chance to reach uh, the low of this um, uh, channel here and the last one, um, New Zealand CAD, also looking for a uh, continuation, but we want to see a break below here. So uh, let's uh, start with the weekly. <clears throat> As you see on the weekly, we tested this major important level. And since then we've been pushing lower and lower. Uh, <clears throat> the 200 uh, moving average uh, on the weekly is also tested again and failed to break above it uh, on the daily we see that we have this structure here previous low and we have this low also this is going to act as possible support so this is still support and this may happen you get another bounce from here but what i'm looking for uh, for the next week is if we're going to break below these lows and if that happened that will give us <clears throat> a pretty nice uh, reward here because uh, we do not have uh, much structure on the way here so if this uh, structure got broken then that will open uh, <clears throat> a nice trade idea all the way down here with a um, if this exactly happened like this we break we retest this level and you get your entry even if you put your stop loss above the previous high on a daily time frame you still have a nice um, uh, reward here as you see on uh, on this example so um, keep an eye on that um, <coughs> structure if the break happen you're gonna have a nice a very nice reward now if you do not want to have such a great uh, and big uh, stop loss you could go to a lower time frame <coughs> and then uh, wait for the break and in this case you could use uh, this structure here uh, as a place to stop your uh, to put your stop loss above yearly pivot point previous high good uh, level of uh, possible resistance that may give you um, a good um, stop loss placement 
and the target will still be the same around 300 pips down here and uh, your risk gonna be like 95 uh, pips or so okay so uh, yeah that was uh, the last chart uh, thank you very much guys and of course for those of you who want to see all the 20 markets i do each and every day uh, you are welcome to do so by joining our trading channel so uh, thanks a lot and see you next week bye bye